Bonjour, hello, welcome to Max Mountain World. Bonjour, hello, and welcome to the 15th day of lockdown. Now, today is Wednesday, the 1st of April, and I've just kind of been out for my walk and stuff in the morning. I had my breakfast, done this, done that. And uh, I thought I'd just take a bit of time out, sit in the balcony at the top end and just look around. So I'll do a little video on what, what, what you get to see here at this particular point in time. So just looking towards the bottom of the valley, do a bit of zooming in. Now it's not too clear down there. Now let's go to a maximum zoom and see that's one kilometer, thousand meters of altitude below us there. A few sunny spells and stuff and uh, above it is come back out again. There's a cloud with a very sort of flat base but that's kind of dissipating a bit just now. I've just noticed over the last five minutes or so it's uh, it's like it's it's starting to precipitate down there. We do have forecast for showers today uh, with the freeze level round about this level, 1800 metres. So could have a bit of rain, could have a bit of snow, could have a, four seasons in one day is probably going to happen. Happens quite a lot at this time of year. So just heading out and uh, down to the station here we've got swimming pool which I'd describe as empty, but it's not. It's got water in it, but no people. So we look around, round to the main lift, which is just at a back door here, and uh, the pre clos lift, which uh, I actually found last night, a picture of this in 2013, and this used to be white. Someone decided it'd be a good idea to, to paint it blue. I'm just looking around down here as well. This is the bottom of the pistes, the arrival point where the snow's turned black. This is what happens to the snow. Maybe a bit of zoom again. This is what happens to the snow when it's not looked after. It's pretty gruesome really. <laughs> but normally the the station would have this in, in tip top condition, the pieced part of it anyway. You can see uh, just over to the left here where the melt points are coming through, that's kind of facing the sun in the afternoons at the warmest point of the day and uh, they've kind of destroyed a bit up the top there probably to discourage people from doing stuff. And they've got some folk out walking dogs and stuff. But uh, really, at this time of year, it's only to be expected that the snow would would really be as such. But as I say, the piece, this little kiddie area just off to the right here, would would always be uh, maintained in a very very good condition. Let's go and have a wee look and see what they've done to this main slope coming down. You can see the off to the right there where they've. Uh, well, you uh, zoomed in. Oops, uh, <laughs> off to the right there, where they've kind of piled it all up. That's actually a trail that goes up into the forest up the right-hand side, and uh, uh, who knows what they've done there? They've probably just cleared it to make sure it melts quickly enough for when it's next going to be needed. So that goes up to the first level, which is up above. Uh, up here behind the trees up here where all the lifts go further up the mountain and uh, you can see the cloud level is pretty low here I would say the bottom of that cloud is around about 2003-2004 but it will have a wee look up there it's only down here it seems to be quite sunny <laughs> up behind it and it's a pity we can't go up the mountain because these are the situations where you would find yourself taking a wander up or a ski up <laughs> would be normal and uh, you'd find yourself above a sea of cloud, one of the most spectacular scenes that you can see uh, in the Alps when you get a bit of altitude. Just the run up uh, behind here, uh, that takes you up, that's a ski, well, ski piece that takes you down from that first level. 
and uh, much of the rest is all sort of hidden in there. We do have immediately in front of us, just going down here, uh, the, the ski piece that takes us down to the main station at 1650. And just going round, and uh, the mountain with Cravu the other side, and it's quite well healthily cloud, <laughs> clouded up. So uh, you can actually see, we can just take a wee look in there, uh, if I can actually do this. And yeah, a little remnant of snow that's been left behind on a south facing mm, couloir, corridor, ravine, what do you want to call it. But uh, yeah, not much snow left. At this point we would be howling for more snow. Needless to say, all the commerces are closed, the burger stands closed, the ski shops closed, the restaurants closed, the station itself closed, they've put away all the fencing and stuff that guides people the right way and stuff. Um, yeah, pretty astonishing situation, very rare situation for the 1st of April. Even if there was absolute scarcity of snow, they would be able to pull stuff down from above the mountain, above, uh, from the mountain above, and uh, they'd always keep it right, as I say. So you can see in the forest there, a lot of brown stuff. It's all melted pretty rapidly. Uh, laser game is closed. I'm just heading round over the building here, and We've got a bit of sunshine down in the the chef lieu, or just up beside the chef lieu, the main administrative centre, which is down below at 1450 metres. So someone's enjoying some sunshine over there, and that's basically what I'm seeing. So. You probably hear the clicking noise of melting water. The temperature just now, according to the phone, is 4 degrees, although it's just beginning to drop again, which signifies it might be precipitating. This uh, cloud over to the left there has got a flat on it, but where it's hitting the mountain to the right, it's coming from sort of northwest area, and uh, this has kind of not got such a flat bottom on it, so that's starting to precipitate, or it's probably actually snowing inside there. So that's how we squint around again. And this cloud, in the time it's taken me to do that and come back round, which is only about five minutes, the cloud level's dropping. That area up the top there that had a bit of sunshine, it's gone. The, the cloud level's dropped a little bit. So as usual with the, the mountain weather, it's very dynamic and changes very, very quickly, which is what it's doing. The temperature's actually gone really cold, really hard push not to have my hands shaking here. Of course, just strange with the lift not running with nothing. I can actually hear nothing. That's the overall thing. It's silence, quietness. The odd ventilation system running, whatever, making a buzzing noise in the background, but, but that's it. Just quiet. This would be heaving just now if it was open. This would have kids screaming, sounds of pleasure, sounds of fun, sounds of all sorts. White snow, not black snow or brown snow. And... Things active, but this is what you call inactive. And of course, one other dominant factor here is there isn't a single mark of ski or snowboard anywhere. That's just bizarre. So a little time of relax on the balcony, looking around, and normally you'd be kind of, sometimes people make annoying noises, irritating noises and stuff, and you'd say, oh, shut up, shut up, shut up, but this silence is just so eerie, 
So I'm just going to sit here as long as I can endure the, the cold, the sun's not here, it makes a huge difference when the sun comes out. And uh, take it all in and then head back into uh, the man cave. Check out radio, read a book, have a bath. Got a fair list of things to keep me occupied. Editing video, for example. So, thanks very much for watching. Remember, share this with people. You can share it to Facebook, to Instagram, to Twitter, whatever. Share it with your friends. Just say, hey, check what this guy's doing. Hey, or if it's my friends or people who know me, hey, this is what this guy's up to and stuff like that, you know. You can click on the like below. Click on the dislike if you want. Feedback is always gratefully accepted. So, until the next time, don't forget, subscribe down. Uh, it's there. When you do, you get the bell thing. Click on the bell. Click on all and you'll get notified each time you come onto YouTube that another video has gone up from Max Mountain World and uh, remember everything's reversible so if you do all that you don't like it you can unsubscribe you can whatever so that's it as I say thanks for watching and until the next video ciao